All right, this video is going to be an angry video because I am angry. I am incredibly angry because one of my favorite free programs, Audacity here, has been completely ruined. Not only has it been completely ruined, but it has been completely ruined by the single worst feature in the history of software. And in this video, I am going to describe exactly what this feature is and why, for me, it has completely ruined Audacity. So let's get started. The feature is called Loop Mode. And this is the old version of Audacity, version 3.0.5. It doesn't have loop mode. And I'm going to describe to you first why I love this version of Audacity specifically. So let's see, I have this sound imported into Audacity. Say I want to loop a very specific portion of this sound. So I zoom in, I select the portion I want to loop, and I press the space bar to play the audio while also pressing the shift key. And I press the shift key now and look at the play button. It goes into this little loop mode thing, but this isn't the actual loop mode. I'll get to that later. And this symbol showing on the play button tells me that I am pressing down the shift key. So when I either press the space bar or click the play button, it will play this portion of audio. And when it gets to the end, it'll loop it back and play it infinitely until I press the space bar again to stop. So to loop some portion of audio, just select and press shift space, done. That's all you need to do to loop audio in the old version of Audacity. Now, let's shut down this version of Audacity, this beautiful work of software, and go into the new version of Audacity. There it is. Nope, that's the old version. There it is, Audacity with loop mode, and start audacity.exe. And let's see how to loop audio in this version of Audacity. So I'm going to go back a few pages and uh, pick up a different recording, say this one. So what do I need to do to loop audio? I'll select a portion of the audio and press shift spacebar. But that doesn't work anymore. Where's the loop symbol there? No, the loop symbol is now here. Looping audio is no longer something you can select in a specific moment by pressing the shift key or not pressing the shift key. No, there's a special mode you need to select now. So now I click the mode. Oh, that's convenient. This thing has automatically selected the portion of audio that I selected. But that's interesting. That's a looping region. Hmm, I wonder if that'll be important later. But let's forget that for now. I've turned on loop mode, and let's play the audio. So just as expected, it loops. So say I want to loop a different portion. So I'll just zoom in here, and I'll select this portion. What? What's that? It doesn't loop. That's right. No, you can't just select an audio portion and then instantly loop it. You need to move these very special little markers up here, which are very small click spaces. And only then can you loop. Oh, nope. I did. I forgot to actually start playing in this section, so I can't loop it anymore. But now, and only now, can I play my looped audio. Now, let's see. I want to loop a different portion of a different file. But the loop portion has stayed as exactly the same. And also, loop mode is on. So if I leave loop mode on and say I want to import a smaller sample, let's, uh, let's go to somewhere else. There's my ultra pack. Uh, the gun sounds pack should be in here. There we go. I'll get the, this sample. Here's a looped gun sound. And I just want to play this looped. I can't do it. I can't do it. No, instead, I need to zoom out all the way over here, select this region over here, and move it to fit with the borders of this file. And only then, only then, can I actually play this sample looped. Now, I wonder how you do that in the old version of Audacity. So let's, let's quickly start that up again. Go back to Audacity. Oop. Didn't mean to do that. And start audacity.exe. Let's see how I can loop this audio. And where was I? There I was. And just shift space. Boom. Done. There's nothing else you need to do. You just import the file, press shift space, you're done. You want to import it, you want to loop a specific part, you go zoom in, select the part, press shift space, you're done. That's all you need to do. Why? Why did they add loop mode? They have ruined it. They have absolutely ruined it. It's unthinkable to me. Look. And you, earlier in the video, I called this the single worst feature in the history of software. Now, I call it that not only because it is simply extremely janky, as uh, 
Audacity's new head designer would call it. But it replaced something that did what this new feature does so so perfectly, so effortlessly, effortlessly, it's just unimaginable that an actual human would add this feature, this stupid loop mode thing. Why have they done it? Why? Please, please, if, if you work at Audacity, I'm, I'm posting this video to the forum. Tell me, why have you done this? Or if you, if you probably you haven't done this if you're going to respond to this, but if you know why this feature was added, please explain to me, why was this added? And if, if you have the authority to deliver any sort of message to the people who are designing Audacity, this, this little program that I used to love so much, please tell them, if not remove this ludicrously terrible feature, at least, at the very least, add some sort of option somewhere to, to loop files with the old method. That, that's all I have to say. I, I, I am very unhappy right now. Uh, and if you watched this entire video, you sat yourself down and managed to get all the way through it, thank you for listening to my pain. And I'll click stop recording now.